all about Implicity, or elotuzumab. I'd like to talk a little bit about a drug called Implicity, or elotuzumab. This is a member of a family of treatments for myeloma called monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies have been around for a long time. And there's dozens of monoclonal antibodies used to treat all kinds of medical conditions, not just cancer, but for over 20 years, we've used this class of drugs in medicine. Elotuzumab, or Implicity, was the second monoclonal antibody FDA approved for myeloma in the United States back in 2015. What is the mechanism of action of Implicity? Elotuzumab works as an immunotherapy or immune therapy. And when given, uh, it enters the bloodstream and attaches to the myeloma cells on a protein called SLAMF7. If you're um, doing your own research, if you're on the internet and looking up, some of the older papers will refer to that protein as CS1, although it's the same protein as SLAMF7, which is the preferred name uh, in contemporary times. When elotuzumab attaches to that protein on the myeloma cells, it serves as a flag to recruit the body's immune cells to come and kill that cancer cell, kill that myeloma cell. Elotuzumab also has an interesting second mechanism of action in that there are types of immune cells it can bind to to actually stimulate their activity and augment their ability to kill myeloma cells. So like many monoclonal antibodies that are FDA approved and in development to treat uh, multiple myeloma, elotuzumab attaches directly to the myeloma cells in fact, a little bit of trivia, if you look at the um, generic name for these drugs, if there's a T, the letter T in the middle of them, that means tumor. So for instance, daratumumab, elotuzumab, isotuximab, that T in there is a hint that those drugs actually bind directly to the tumor cells or myeloma cells. Elotuzumab is an interesting uh, antibody, though, because it also uh, binds directly to an immune cell called natural killer cells. These are a type of lymphocyte, again, a, a part of the body's immune system uh, that, that have the ability to recognize and kill cancer cells without having to go through an educational process like other immune cells in the body. Natural killer cells, when they identify a cell as cancerous, can immediately kill that cell. And work from my lab, as well as others, showed uh, elotuzumab seems to have a second mechanism of action where it can stimulate those natural killer cells uh, to augment their ability to kill myeloma cells. When is Implicity used? With Implicity or elotuzumab, the FDA approvals are to give the drug in a combination either with Revlimid in a first relapse setting, for instance, or with Pomalist and dexamethasone in a subsequent or later relapse. Implicity has been studied as a single agent, which means given by itself with no other drugs in the combination. However, its efficacy seems to be a little bit less successful in that setting but is much improved when it's given in a combination. How is Implicity administered? What is the typical schedule? Elotuzumab or Implicity is a very well-tolerated drug. It's given intravenously and currently has two FDA approvals. One is in combination with Revlimid and dexamethasone, and the other is in combination with Pomalist and dexamethasone. In both instances, the drug is typically given on a weekly basis for the first two cycles, and then goes to a biweekly infusion after that. According to Bristol-Myers Squibb, the makers of Implicity, the schedule of Implicity infusions is dependent on the combination it is taken with. When used with the Revlimid, the schedule is weekly for the first two cycles and then biweekly. But when Implicity is used with Pomalist, the schedule is a little different. It is still given weekly for cycles one and two, but then given once a month from cycles three and onward. What are the common side effects of Implicity? It is an immune therapy, which means most of the side effects mainly have to do with immune type reactions, such as allergies, especially with the infusion. And with most of these drugs, that risk is the highest the first day the patient receives the drug. We typically give the patient some medications to prevent those kind of side effects, such as dexamethasone or Benadryl. Most people do very well with elotuzumab, though, from a side effect profile. Infusion rates of Implicity may be slowed down if infusion reactions begin to develop. In addition to immune-related infusion reactions, there are other side effects associated with Implicity. Hematological side effects include low white blood cell counts, called neutropenia and lymphocytopenia, low red blood cell counts, called anemia, and low platelet counts, called thrombocytopenia. GI side effects may include diarrhea, constipation, and a decreased appetite. Infections, fever, and fatigue are sometimes seen while taking Implicity, 
as well as muscle spasms likely caused by dehydration. Call your healthcare provider right away if you develop signs of infection such as fever, flu-like symptoms, painful urination, cough, and shortness of breath. How long is the Implicity infusion? The elotuzumab or Implicity infusions are actually a little bit quicker than with other monoclonal antibodies. Typically these can be given over 30 minutes or an hour and after a patient has had a few doses we can even get it down uh, to a shorter time period than that. What is the dose of Implicity? With Implicity the dose is typically given at 10 milligrams per kilogram so it's a dose based on body weight. When it's given with Revlimid that dose stays the same. When it's given with pomalist, it starts at 10 milligrams per kilogram, but when it gets into that every other week dosing, the dose actually goes up a little bit to 20 milligrams per kilogram. Bristol-Myers Squibb, the maker of Implicity, is committed to helping patients gain access to their prescribed BMS medications. That's why they offer the BMS Access Support Program, which provides resources to help patients understand their insurance coverage and find information on sources of financial support, including copay assistance for eligible commercially insured patients. For more information, call BMS Access Support at 1-800-861-0048 from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Suggestions for managing fatigue and other side effects discussed in this video can be found in the Patient Solutions tool of HealthTree Cure Hub. Search on a specific side effect to find solutions that others have found helpful. These solutions have been provided by patients just like you. You can also filter side effects by an individual drug or combination of drugs. When filtering on a combination of drugs, keep in mind it might not always be clear which drug is creating which side effect.